recycled down there. Yeah, they recycled. Thanks for warning. That is true. This is if her husband is going to, you know, take her in and, you know, what the deal is. She always just, um, just seems like it's just so hard to force yourself to be a little bit more than that. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good I guess no one's here in the county attorney's office, so we'll just leave one on his desk. Good. Shiny day like today? Yes. Yeah. Just 
one with you on some information on local corruption. It's about the removal of press conference for emergency from office. We're still doing this with a statute 351.15. I don't know if you're aware of there's a criminal complaint filed against Chris Carvin here just recently. No, I wasn't aware of that. Well, it's, not, it's understandable. It seems so. Back in 96, the county attorney was arrested, was made the front page, but when this county attorney gets criminal charges filed against him, it's a long silence. So, just wanted to let you know what's going on in the world. Thank okay. you. Hi. Would you like some information about what's going on in this county? Are you aware that uh, Chris Carpenter had criminal charges, the county attorney had criminal charges filed against him just recently? So we're demanding that he be removed from office along with uh, Troy Warbison, who was acting and acting to, to try to intimidate people who were trying to file this criminal complaint. Thank you.